Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we're going to be doing something very, very fun, which is putting two albums head to head. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while and I think I'm going to make it a series where I take two albums and we put them head to head and we compare the track ones, twos, three, four, five, all the way down the line to see which album do I actually like more? Because sometimes I might think I like an album more because like one song stands out or I have a few songs that I love. But if I actually compare and contrast to other albums, maybe I'll realize that I like other albums more. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Today I am putting the sister albums head to head. I am going to be comparing Folklore and Evermore. Now, I'm a folklore girl. I have always said that I love folklore, but I am curious to see when I compare the track ones on Folklore and Nevermore and the track twos and the track fives, which one will I actually which one will I actually win? Because while there's probably more songs that I love on folklore, or I think I love more in folklore, when we actually put them side by side, maybe things will change. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, if you have other albums that you want me to do this. For um, if you want me to put like you know red versus speak now head to head or I don't know torture poets department against reputation <laughs> like whatever random pairing you want comment it below and I'll pick one of your guys's suggestions for the next video and um, do do that for our next <clears throat> head to head. Um, also before we get into it, I want to just say a big thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel. We've reached four thousand subscribers, so thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed. What are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and subscribe so you don't miss other great content like this. Okay, let's jump in to the head-to-head -head battle, Folklore Evermore. Okay, starting out with the first track. The first track on Folklore is The One. The first track on Evermore is Willow. While I love The One, I think it is a great song, I actually think I have to give this to Evermore and to Willow because, I don't know, I just, I think w Willow is probably one of the best songs off of Folklore, in my opinion, or sorry, Evermore. <laughs> um, and I don't know, I just, if I had to choose one to listen to, I, I think that's how I'm going to kind of base it, is like, if I could only pick one to listen to, or like, which one kind of sticks, has stuck with me more, that's how I'm going to base this decision. I have to go with Willow. So one point for Evermore on the board. Okay, cardigan and champagne problems. Now this is interesting because this is an interesting one. I really like cardigan a lot. I think it's a good song. It's a solid song. It's not one of my favorites off of folklore, but I think it's good. Champagne problems. When this album first came out, I wasn't a big fan of champagne problems. I actually was like, the song isn't really for me. I don't really, I felt like everybody loved it and I didn't really get it. I, I didn't really get why people were so obsessed with it, but I have to say that over time, and especially like having heard it live on the Eras tour, and just like I feel like this song has really grown on me. The bridge is obviously top tier Taylor Swift. I honestly think I have to go with Champagne Problems, which is crazy. Two points for Evermore. Okay, the last Great American Dynasty and Gold Rush. This one is really, really tough because Gold Rush is maybe one of my top two or three favorite songs off of Evermore. But I also really, really love The Last Great American Dynasty. But I gotta go with Gold Rush. Wow. Evermore is taking a quick 3-0 and lead. Okay. Track four, we have Exile featuring Bonnie Vare on Folklore and Tis the Damn Season on Evermore. This one I am giving to Folklore and Exile. I am not the biggest fan of Tis the, the Damn Season. I've never really liked it that much. And I know people love that song. It's just never really done it for me personally. Um, and I love Exile. I think it's such a great song. So folk folklore on the board, one point for folklore. Okay, the track fives, we've got My Tears Ricochet and Tolerate It. This is no competition. I'm so sorry to tolerate it, but it is a hundred percent My Tears Ricochet, one of the best songs on the album, one of the best track five songs. My Tears Ricochet, no questions asked. All right, so Evermore still in the lead, but it's three, three to two. Okay, track six, we've got Mirable off of Folklore and Nobody No Crime featuring Haim on Evermore. This one's really hard, actually, for me, because I like Mirable. I like Mirable, but I also really like Nobody No Crime. 
I think I'm going to pick No Body, No Crime, which I think is a little bit surprising maybe because I know people love Mirrorball and I, and I really like that song, but I'm going No Body, No Crime. Okay. Track seven, we have seven from Folklore and Happiness off of Evermore. Okay. This one's interesting because I don't really love either of these songs. Neither of these songs are like my favorites on the album, which honestly makes it fair that they're going head to head. But I think I'm going to pick seven off of Folklore as the winner. So just to keep track, Evermore has four points. Folklore has three points. So Evermore is still in the lead as of right now. All right, track eight, we have August from Folklore and Dorothea from Evermore. Again, I'm so sorry. Dorothea is a, it's a, it's a good song, but it's no competition because August is absolutely sensational. Point for Folklore. Okay, track nine. We have This Is Me Trying off of Folklore and Coney Island featuring The National off of Evermore. I'm going This Is Me Trying, I think. This Is Me Trying is a song that I like, didn't really love initially, but over time I've, I've really come around on that song. I love it. So we've got five points. Folklore's now in the lead. Folklore's got five points and Evermore has four points. Okay, track 10. We have Illicit Affairs off of Folklore and we have Ivy off Evermore. Again, no competition. It is 100% Ivy from Evermore. Ivy is my favorite song off of Evermore. It is one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs ever. I love that song so much. So freaking good. Point for Evermore. So now we're back to being tied. Five, five, five. Um, all right. Track 11, Invisible String off of Folklore, Cowboy Like Me, Evermore. I really like Cowboy Like Me. I love the guitar in it. I think it's great. But Invisible String is one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs of all time. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Point for Folklore. All right. Track 12, we've got Mad Woman off of Folklore and Long Story Short off Evermore. This is a tough one. I really like Mad Woman. I think it's really good. I think it's one of Taylor Swift's, honestly, one of her more interesting songs. And Long Story Short is like a fun song. I feel like Evermore doesn't have a ton of like fun songs. And I feel like Long Story Short has a bit more, a bit more energy to it, which I do like. I think I'm going to go Long Story Short, which is again, maybe controversial, but Long Story Short it is. All right. Track 13, Folklore, we have Epiphany and Evermore, we have Marjorie. Not an Epiphany fan. I'm so sorry to say so. And I really like Marjorie a lot. So I'm going Marjorie Evermore. So we've got four, five, six, seven. Evermore has got seven points and Folklore has two, four, six. Evermore still in the lead. And we only have a few tracks left. All right, track 14, we have Betty off of Folklore and we have Closure off of Evermore. No competition. I do not like, I do not like Closure. I think I've listened to that song like three times all the way through and I haven't listened to it since, honestly. So I'm going Betty. Also, I love Betty. Fantastic song. Three tracks left, you guys. Okay, track 15. We have Peace off of Folklore and we have Evermore featuring Bonnie Bear off of Evermore. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go with Peace because Peace is one of my favorites off of Folklore, one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. I love that song. This would have been like a really easy, no, like a hundred percent piece maybe a year ago. But honestly, ever since Taylor Swift performed Evermore live and and she sang the Bonnie Vera parts of it, it has made me love Evermore so much more. I think probably a lot of people feel that way. Like her doing those verses, oh my gosh, so good. So I, I do have to say Evermore has like really it's it's got it's gotten up there for me as one of my favorite songs but it's still gonna be peace for me track 16 we've got hoax off of folklore and we have right where you left me off evermore i don't like i don't like hoax and i really like right where you left me so i'm going with right where you left me off of evermore uh, which is a, a, a bonus track and then the final the final head to head we have the lakes from folklore and we have it's time to go evermore and for me i am going with the lakes off of folklore so let's look at our points total folklore the, the songs that i picked exile my tears ricochet seven august this is me trying invisible string betty peace and the lake so that is nine points for folklore and 
on Evermore, I did Willow, Champagne Problems, Gold Rush, No Body, No Crime, Ivy, Long Story Short, Marjorie, and Right Where You Left Me. Eight points for Evermore. So it was actually very, very close. Nine points for Folklore, eight points for Evermore. Folklore did come out the winner, but I have to say doing this experiment, this little um, project made me realize that I think the songs that I love on Folklore, I really, really love. Like My Tears Ricochet, like August, Invisible String, Betty, Peace. Like those songs to me are just so, so, so good. Like my absolute favorites. There's less that I like truly, truly love off of Evermore. I would say the only songs I really like love, love, love are probably Ivy, Gold Rush. And honestly, at this point, probably Champagne Problems but I like a lot of the album, you know? So I feel like that's where the difference is um, when comparing and contrasting. Anyway, that is the head to head. Folklore came out the winner just barely. Let me know again in the comments, which which two albums you want me to put head to head. I would love to do like two albums that have not, like are very different. Like again, like Reputation versus Debut or, you know, Midnight's and Speak Now. Like albums that are just like different kind of genres. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, and I'll pick one to do for the next head to head we end up doing. Again, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.